Uh, my name is Ni Bing Chen. I'm the editor in chief of the Journal of Applied Remote Sensing. At the same time, I also host the position with the University of Central Florida as a professor. And uh, at this moment, I'm also working with the National Science Foundation as a program director. And I handle two different programs, uh, including the hydrological science program and the cyber enabled sustainability science and engineering programs. So I'm very glad to um, have the opportunity to serve the community as the editor-in-chief. Uh, at the same time, I also handle the SPIE conference uh, entitled um, Remote Sensing and the Modeling of Ecosystem for Sustainability. The Journal of Applied Remote Sensing uh, started from the year 2007 as a new journal to serve the community. The scope of the uh, work the journal would like to uh, focus on uh, included the uh, innovation of some uh, new algorithm tools, method, and the platform design uh, for different type of uh, applications. Application, the spectrum of application might include but are not limited to uh, different area including climate change, agricultural sustainability, uh, earth system science, uh, geological investigations, uh, e ecosystem restoration, hydrological science, and the environmental um, investigation. So these are the major uh, uh, focus we would like to emphasize uh, by the journal. However, the journal would uh, welcome uh, different type of extensions uh, from core theory to application metrics uh, the, on the latest science uh, frontier, um, no matter uh, which uh, end users community would like to uh, get involved. The journal would like to explore uh, advanced uh, um, scientific area. Um, it could be exploratory, could be innovative, and it could be integrative. And uh, uh, the recent uh, development of sensor and the sensor network from space bone to air bone and to ground-based remote sensing uh, might be a case. We would like to uh, look into some very uh, bold integrations across different regions um, with different type of new sensors. So with this set, we are able to develop some uh, even advanced cyber infrastructure in concert with remote sensing application to look forward um, adva ad advancing uh, the, the remote sensing application across different community. The scope of the work is not limited to um, what you can see on the website. We would welcome to um, almost uh, any corner of the application in relation to remote sensing. Uh, the very um, unusual case, uh, if that happened, is uh, something which, which could be a very theoretical without any basic um, connection with uh, application potential. That might be ruled out by the uh, scope of the work. Uh, however, we would also encourage people to uh, demonstrate some uh, core science with uh, advanced uh, theoretical development that might have a great potential for future application. I will give you one example. Uh, the recent development of the so-called uh, quantum remote sensing, which is very theoretical. The theoretical part of quantum remote sensing for quantum imaging would provide a great potential for future application across different fields. So it, to that end, we are very welcome to bring in some new ideas from core science as well as theoretical uh, community to uh, join us and to develop the new application potential. So I would like to also encourage the general authors not to hesitate to submit your paper to the journal as long as your work is highly related to remote sensing in different areas.